Statue Hunter 75 here with a really cool piece from uh, Bowen Designs. Just came in the mail today. <clears throat> it's uh, one of my favorite female Marvel characters, X-23. And I just love the sculpt, this version of it. I didn't pick up the uh, X-Force version because I already have a few other statues of her in the X-Force costume. But I love this costume and I like the whole sculpt and I love what Tim Miller did with her. He, I believe he also sculpted the Bowen Black Widow recently that came out like a year ago. And the Bowen Black Cat, which I own, which I love. So I like Tim Miller's work a lot. So when I saw this, I was like, I had to have it. It was a website exclusive. Got the discount too because I joined the Bowen Designs Club or whatever. You know, got the free hat and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, she's over 12 inches tall. And it's limited. I'll get into the, uh, there it's done by Bowen Designs and there's their address and everything. Licensed by Marvel Comics, of course. She's a Marvel Comics character. And, uh, here's the other side, the back of the box. And then the other side of the box, which is the same exact picture. And the number for this one is a nice low number. It's 86 out of 500. And there's all the other credits for it. So let's get to the lovely piece at hand. I love her face. It's uh it's two pieces. So she lifts off. As you can see, number 86 of 500. I'm not sure if the other base. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It also is numbered 86 of 500. That way you know you're actually getting the right one. But what's really cool about her is the face. It's amazing. It's just so nicely detailed. The lipstick. She did a great job. Very pretty face on this one. The eyes are not crossed, which is nice. Love the flow of the hair. Such a great sculpt. Tim Miller is really good at that. I don't know if he sculpts manually or digitally, but the hair looks awesome. He did good on the hair for the uh, black cat, too. But just everything about this piece, I'll put her back on the base. Everything about this piece is really nice. I'm really glad I picked this up. Love the boot. The base just looks really cool with the steel bending everywhere and stuff. And then there's like a little... Uh, I don't know if I can keep focus on here, but this is like a little baby doll, like broken in the rubble there. <laughs> it's not an actual baby, it's supposed to be a doll, as you can see. I don't know if we can stay clear and get in close enough. Nah, the focus isn't gonna lock in on it. Doesn't want to get it. Got to get a little further out. It's very small. That's why it's very minute. Uh, just to give you an idea, there's my hand. That's how small it is. But it's just a really cool added little touch that they threw in there. Because X-23, even though she looks a lot older here, is supposed to only be like a teenager. But this is just a very, very sexy piece. I like the tape on the hands and... The black nail polish, which you can kind of see. A very lovely sculpt, too, from all angles. Another thing I like about this is she only has one hand with the claws extended. The claws on the feet are not extended, or the other hand's claws are not out. She just looks great from every angle. Very nice piece. Bowen Designs knocked it out of the pack with this one. Very happy with this one. So, there you have it. I mean, it's one of the simplest X-23 costumes, but it is like one of the sexiest. It just looks really cool. Her whole little pose and her hair swing in the wind and the bass. Great job by Bowen Designs. X-23, sculpted by Tim Miller, painted statue from Bowen Designs. There you have it, guys. Have a good night.